What's going on? Sean Fagan here from Muay Thai Guy, rocking a new Nakamoy Nation t-shirt. If you want one of these sexy shirts, make sure you just go to this link to find out how. But in this video today, what I'm going to be breaking down is the iconic moment between two legendary Dutch Muay Thai fighters, Ramon Deckers and Ryan Simpson. But first, a little bit of a history lesson. Now, most of you probably know, or at least you should know, who Ramon Deckers is. He's an eight-time Muay Thai world champion and a pioneer of the sport, being one of the first foreign fighters to go to Thailand and beat a number of their top-level fighters at the great, legendary Lumpini Stadium. He trained under the great Cor Hemmers, who is the, now the head matchmaker of Glory Kickboxing, and was also a good friend and training partner of Mr. Low Kick himself, Rob Kamen. One of Decker's most notable accomplishments was during his epic rivalry against living legend Koban Lok Chao Mai Saitang, which ultimately changed the course of history for the sport. After being stopped in their first fight in the first round by Koban's deadly left hook, Decker's was pissed off and came back with fire in his eyes and something to prove. He changed the complete direction of the sport and made history in the rematch by knocking out Koban, who has never been knocked out before, with a wicked flurry of powerful punches. If you haven't seen the breakdown of this historical matchup by my buddy Lawrence Kenshin, you're going to want to check it out. Now on the other side of the ring was explosive Dutch Suriname fighter Ryan Simpson. Simpson is a 7 time world champion and he too climbed the rank as Lumpini, getting as high as number 2 in the division that was stacked with absolute savages. Now, I don't know about you, but I absolutely love his fighting style because of how dynamic and explosive his movements are. I mean, just look at him. Look how light on his feet he is. He's constantly switching stances and throwing absolute bombs from all sorts of angles trying to get the KO. I was actually lucky enough to have the chance to uh, chat with Ryan on my podcast to talk about his career and this iconic moment that we're about to break down between him and Ramon Deckers. If you want to listen to that podcast interview I had with Ryan Simpson, just click on the Muay Thai Guy podcast image and it'll take you right there. Now, Ryan Simpson was coming off a win in Japan that qualified him for the next year's S Cup tournament. He then followed it up with another win against countryman John Vargas with a quick first round knockout. On a hot streak and with momentum on his side, he was then matched up with, you guessed it, Ramon Deckers. Now on Decker's side, he just recently won the WPKL World Super Welterweight Championship. But following that fight, he then was dealt back-to-back -back unanimous decision losses against Tyler Jamhad Kiatisak and fellow countryman Jerry Morris. So basically, Simpson was trying to keep his momentum going by adding to his win streak, while Decker's was trying to get back in the win column after losing two tough fights. Now, without further ado, let's get to the fight. So what this fight really boils down to is the fact that Ryan Simpson has a large reach advantage on Ramon Decker. So he's trying to use his jab, his kick, his footwork to just stay away from the tank that is Ramon Decker's coming right at him with some powerful hooks. And speaking of hooks, shit just got real. Boom! Decker's lands a powerful hook to the top of Ryan's head. Ryan eats it though, comes right back up, and then Decker smells blood. He comes in for the kill throwing those powerful explosive hooks to the body to the head landing some powerful ones but Ryan's throwing right back at him landing some solid shots of his own and he's eventually able to land that hook circle out and get back to using his reach now right here is where you'll notice a common theme we'll show a quick instant replay when both of them throw their rights you can see how their head is off the center line and they're going to be loading up right here Decker's going to load up throw the hook while Simpson's going to stay down to avoid it now what you should notice here is Decker's weight is all on his lead foot. This is important because when he comes up and he torques into that hook, he can really generate power by using the ground to push off and drive through his punch. Fortunately, Ryan Simpson's head was down so he avoided that hook for now. 
Now we're back to Simpson using his footwork, his speed, and his kicks, and his jab to stay away and keep the distance from Deckers, who's constantly pushing forward, trying to get inside to land the powerful punches. As you notice right here, Decker switches into southpaw stance just to land that powerful body kick. Decker stays in southpaw until Simpson's able to land a nice kick punch combo and get back to distance. Now, did you notice that? This is why I love Ryan Simpson. Watch as he plants his foot right here so he's able to drive off the ground and really explode forward into a hard right cross. Now notice here how much he pivots on his foot. This is so he can open up his hips, drive off the ground, and deliver his punch with a lot of force behind it. And this is the kind of shit I love because notice how his foot moved forward after he lands the punch. Now he has a better angle for the uppercut and his foot is planted so he could use that to push off and drive through his hips to land a powerful uppercut. This is exactly where Deckers wants to fight. He wants Simpson's back on the ropes so this way he can unload those powerful punches that he's known for. Simpson knows better, uses his jab, his knees, his kicks to circle out and get back to the center of the ring. Now watch this sick combo from Ryan Simpson. This might be my favorite part of the fight besides the double knockdown, but look how beautiful and seamless his motions are, how powerful and explosive his punches are. Now let's watch this instant replay, because after he lands that vicious uppercut to Ramon Deckers, you see how he circles around and gets a better angle? Now all his weight's on his left foot, his left cross is loaded up, and he's going to use that to create a better angle by stepping forward as he's throwing that left cross so he can set up with the body hook and the uppercut. Now since he stepped forward, he has the perfect angle for that lead hook to the body followed by that lead uppercut. Now he generates an insane amount of force and power because he drives off the ground and pushes through his hips to land a powerful uppercut from a great angle. That combo was so sexy we gotta watch it from another angle. So notice here, his left hip is loaded, so this way he can throw that left cross with some power. But he's not even going to throw it with power because he's going to use that as a setup. So as he lands that punch, his rear leg is going to step forward, so this way he has a better angle for that uppercut. Let's go back to after the first knockdown, just watch some of this beautiful exchanges on the inside between Deckers and Simpson. You can see both of them landing some good shots. Deckers ends up getting some really clean shots with the uppercut and a hook. Boom, right there and right there. Oh man, but Simpson eats it like a champ and regains his composure. At the start of the second round, you can see Simpson using his teeth and footwork to be circling around Deckers so this way he can keep using his distance and range. Deckers don't give a fuck though, he's a terminator, he's walking forward and trying to get an inside angle so this way he can land one of those powerful bombs again and hopefully drop Simpson. Now here you'll see Simpson do that combo again that I showed you earlier on. Boom, sexy. He plants off his foot, really drives through to land that right cross. And as he drives through, he's going to let his momentum take that foot forward so this way he can get a better angle for that uppercut. He lands the uppercut, drives his hips upwards, and then pushes off to land a hard low kick. That combination was working so well, he doubles up on it right here and lands that cross uppercut combination. Now we're back to that game where Ryan is circling away, trying to keep Deckers from closing the distance and getting inside. Simpson tries to land that combo again, but Deckers covers up in the shell and then checks the kick very nicely. Oh 
Oh yeah, this one it gets real. Now notice at first here, both the heads are off the center line. But what's really important is their positioning for the hook. Now you notice as Simpson comes up, he's tightening in the chamber, a straight line to the chin. Where Decker is a little bit more loopy, that forces him to miss the punch. Where Simpson connects. And again, both guys' heads are off the center line. Now it's a race to see who can land the hook first. Deckers being the badass he is, got up, took the 8 count, and was ready to get back into action. Now both of the guys took pretty hard hooks to the face if you noticed, so they were a little weary getting back and exchanging right away, as both of them had probably had some cobwebs to shake out. After the second round, Ramon Decker's corner decided to stop the fight because he was a bit too hurt to continue on forward. Next thing you know, Ryan Simpson getting naked, showing the fans his shorts, and super pumped that he just beat one of the legends of the sport, Ramon Decker's. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please like and comment below. Share your thoughts. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure to let me know and I'll do my best to make it happen. Also, if you can share with your training partners, coaches, friends, and other passionate Nakmoy, I greatly appreciate it. But if you're looking for more awesome content like this, including in-depth breakdowns and analysis, technique tutorials, training tips, and fight strategies to implement into your fight game, then make sure you go check out knockboynation.com. We've got champion Muay Thai fighters like Sanchai, Tiffany Van Seuss, Diesel Noy, Sylvie Von Dulles E2, DJ Miller, Hedgeboon Chu, and a number of other Muay Thai legends inside the exclusive Knock Muay Nation area sharing with you some of their training secrets, favorite fight strategies, and techniques to help you take your training to the next level. So if you're serious about your training, go to the number one online resource and community for passionate Knock Muay, just like yourself, knockmuaynation.com. I'll see you there.